All right, welcome back. <clears throat> now we're going to be talking about random numbers here. So we have the C out statement, and I'm going to print out random and the question mark here. So we're going to learn a new command here. So let's say I want to print out rand. Notice I have an open and closing parentheses, and I'm going to use the mod sign. And let's say I use mod 6. Okay, so what this does here, <coughs> so let's look at this carefully here. All it is is just a rand all in lowercase, an opening closing parentheses, and we're going to use a mod sign here. Now, 6 is our choice here. This, when we use random numbers here, this is always going to come first. That's just part of the syntax. We can put a number here. Let's say it's 6 or 7. And then what this does here, this will output a number that's random between 0 and 6. Okay. So let me run this a couple times here. We get 6 again, 6 again, 6 again, uh, and we get 6 again. What are the odds of getting 6 five times in a row out of 7 numbers? Well, it would actually be 1 times 7 times 1 times 7 times or it will be 1 over 7 times 1 over 7 times 1 over 7. So basically it's 1 over 7 to the 5th power here. That's a very small chance of getting 6 times in a row. Getting that 6 times in a row, but it is possible. So is it really random? Well, that's the thing about random numbers. We really don't know here if it's random or not. Alright, so here, let me make another variable here. int. Let me call it r. Let's say it Let's just say it equals rand mod 7 here. Okay. Now, if we print r to the screen, it does the same thing. And so, is this really random here? I'm starting to have doubts now. Because this, if it is random, there would be a great time to buy a lottery ticket <coughs> but uh, let's say uh, let's say I make another variable let's say it's count and I'm going to set it equal to zero here and let's throw this in a while loop here so while count is less than 10 so what I want to do I want to reassign r to another random number here Let's see if we get this a few times in a row here. Now, once I reset r to a different a random value here, which doesn't seem to be random, let's see what happens here. Okay. So we're going to run this here. And there's build errors. What could that be? Oh, I don't have a semicolon here. Alright. Oh, and uh, we're printing random numbers off left and right here. So let's uh, notice that was in an, infinite while, in, an, in an infinite while loop. So let's say count plus plus. We'll increment count. Or print too many. Alright, so we print off. Uh, 10 random numbers here. The f it only prints out 9 random numbers through this loop here. But notice that uh, for some reason the first one is always going to be 6. I have not been able to figure out why. But to get started, I think it it'll always be the same number just to get started here. Now these numbers here will always be between 0 and 6 here. <clears throat> so this random number is always going to be between 0. When you Make a random random num mod seven. It'll print out seven uh, random numbers. It'll print out one of seven numbers, and there'll be zero through six. It'll never print out seven. It'll never print out anything less than that. Okay, so now that we know that here, if I run this again, <coughs> my numbers are different. I got six one six five three two. Let's see what I get this time. Huh? It prints off the same. It prints off prints them off in the same order. So, 
<clears throat> what do we do? It seems to be, yeah, they're random, but it's the same order every time here. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna tell you about a library. I'm gonna just, it, I'm just gonna introduce you to a library here. We're gonna do this again. Type in include up here. We're gonna type in C time. So basically, this is another technique we're going to use. Now at the very top of our code, S rand. Now just type in exactly what I have. Now let's run this. See what happens. Now we are starting to get random numbers differently every time here. This <coughs> So, notice that they aren't the same every time. See that? So, if we didn't have that there, <coughs> the, uh, the compiler will not recognize to give it random numbers here. So, these numbers are actually random. Whether last time it was going into a repeated pattern here. Now, I'll explain these in a little bit in this tutorial so uh, the wait is finally coming so you waited a long time for me to hear this because we saw this in the first video and we didn't know what it meant till now if I didn't have this here look it'll print these same numbers off all in order here the same order every single time run it again it's still the same random order but we needed this library. We need these libraries to really keep it random. So it's different every time. Now, and we'll need this piece, which comes from. And null has to be capitalized. Okay, so, so this piece here, it, all that does is just let you generate random numbers differently every time. Now, basically, it, it, it depends on what time it is. It'll pick a random number, like it'll start off with a random spot, but um, we'll go over uh, pseudo-random numbers later on, but we, the computer generates these random numbers here. Now, what is this include stuff up here? Well, <clears throat> here, let me uh, undo that. Well, this stuff here is actually pre-written code that allows us to do, to type up this stuff here. I'm going to go ahead and open this here. This is an ISO standard library here that allows, like, that allows us to use the C out, C in statement. And there's other things that we can use here. And it's basically a bunch, there's a bunch of other codes here. And then they also have libraries included inside here. They got the I stream and the O stream, and they got an iOS. They have all these different libraries here. Now this is ISO standard code that's that all industries you know will use. Just like a, it's a standard that everybody will use. Metric, well, not in America, but <clears throat> it's a standard that everybody would use the metric system because it's simple. It's a base ten, and it's just everybody in the world would use it. Just like a another standard would be the time. Everybody in the world will use 60 seconds, 12 hours in a day, or 24 hours in a day. You know, the, the time, there's no other different time units. <clears throat> so this is another one. Now, C time is another code that allows us to use some generated number here. Now, there's a bunch of gibberish here that that's beyond us. But there's all these... And inside here, it also includes different libraries inside that. So there's all this stuff here. <clears throat> now, now what we have um, when we use when you see these C++ keywords here. Let's say I decided to delete this here. If I delete all this up here and all I have is an int main here, I won't be able to use some of the stuff here. Okay, like I can't use the C out. It won't work. 
in the CN it won't work. It doesn't recognize what it is because <clears throat> has it been pre-established before? It doesn't know what this is unless we include that library here. But uh, what what will work is all the stuff like we can declare stuff. We can say a is equal to two times a times seven divided by three. And it'll work here. Why is that? Well, I remember you remember me making a very big deal out of keywords every time. Well, this stuff will still work. All the stuff that is uh, <coughs> in C that all the stuff that is um that requires a C plus plus keyword is fair game in any compiler. So regardless if you're using IOStream or any other libraries, there's several different libraries that we're going to be going over here. But everything should uh, you should be able to use all the keywords that have been in C++. You should be, the while statement will still work. We won't be able to display anything. We won't be able to see anything, but they are there. And, it, it, and that's going to be important to know when you're using different... If you're using C++ and, you're, and someone else is using these very different libraries, or they might even made up their own libraries that they're using, these commands, the, the keywords, the stuff that requires C++, work, the, uh, C++ keywords will work. So when we make our gaming tutorials, we won't be using the C out C in stuff because that's from the IOStream library, but all the while loop, the if stuff, the the variable types, the boolean, the char, everything that's a keyword is going to be fair game and it's going to be used. And it should be used if it's <clears throat> if it's not be, being able to if you can't use it, it's not a compiler you should be using. But <clears throat> all C compilers should have or will you will be able to use this stuff here now certain compilers won't have all the standard libraries but all C++ will have all the keywords that will work so that's a start on random numbers and that's a start on some libraries here but to keep things simple we want to see what's being printed to the screen We're, right now we're going to be inc including the IOStream library the IO stream stands for input and output, input stream and output stream. That allows us to output stuff, and that allows us to input stuff. And we can use the CIN operator, which is from that here. Now, let's look what happens here. Notice it doesn't know what this, it doesn't recognize this here. And that's why we have to use, say, using namespace. Now, don't worry about this part too much. This is basically, a we'll be going over namespaces later on. Right now they're not that important for us to learn about yet, but basically it allows us to use this here. <clears throat> now you don't have to remember this here, but if I didn't have this here, and it doesn't recognize this, we can still use the C out here, but we have to say STD, which stands for standard, and it's a standard package out of the IOStream library. Hello world, and uh, <clears throat> who knows that uh, when we say using namespace std, we won't have to type this every single time we use cl. But just to say, show you that it works, now when we run this here, it's just another program here. So notice that c out and cn is not a c keyword because it doesn't light up in blue. That's because it's coming out of a pre-written library that uh, <clears throat> that's been uh, standard that's been uh, standardized by the ISO standard department, the International Standard of Organizations ISO. So because it's not a keyword, it's coming out of this library here. But the C++ stuff is all keyword type stuff, which is the stuff that lights up in blue. It's it's being we're going to be able to use it here. So when I make an int a, now C++ knows what a means. It knows it's an integer type error because we declared it. So we'll, we'll be covering uh, more on libraries later on, but that's just an introduction error. So for now, you can just we'll be using we might be using the C time library, and uh, we'll be using the sran time null function here that just allows us to generate random numbers here. So. <laughs> that wraps this up, and hopefully this was a uh, simple stuff.
the day because we just learned how to generate random numbers here, but you'll just have to, we're just using a few more types of syntax here. Because random numbers are important here. When you make a game or anything, you know, you might, <coughs> if you're, you might not want the user to be able to predict your the computer player's every move. You might want them to uh, react randomly on certain situations. That way, uh, it'll throw the uh, the player off, and then you won't be able to. It'll be more exciting because you won't know what's going to happen next. So we'll we'll be using random numbers from here on out. If you didn't catch it all today, I'd still go on to the next lesson because we're going to see it again several times. And uh, I'll just be using several different examples for random numbers here. All right. <coughs> Oops. <coughs>